instead of thinking of hashtags as, oh, I'm just going to put these things there and hopefully get some more visibility, which is true, you'll get a bit more visibility. I, I have a more, I, I believe, a more humanistic or authentic way of approaching hashtags. I think of it as a community of discussion, a community of creators, of potential referral sources, potential clients. And when I think of it that way, it becomes much more friendly to me and less technical and less uh, maybe spammy or markety or salesy or something like that. So let me go and show you what I mean. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, show you my screen here. I pulled up a hashtag page for relationships. For those of you who are like, you know, you, you are a coach and you help people with relationships. Now you first might wonder, how did you get to this page? Well, the, here's, here's how. You go to the, um, you go to the search at the top of LinkedIn and you search relationships and you press enter. Okay, and what's gonna happen is uh, you're gonna see a bunch of random things, but I, I would recommend that you click posts. Okay, click posts. Now you're sorting by the posts and you're not quite at the hashtag page yet. The hashtag page is kind of like the community page for that hashtag. To get there, you have to actually click on a hashtag. So uh, the reason why Manuela's post is showing up even from nine months ago. This is amazing, right? The power of hashtags and of, of LinkedIn content is because Manuela is a first degree connection for me. That's why LinkedIn is surfacing her post even from nine months ago from this search. Now, the reason why she's showing up for this search is because she's using the hashtag in her post. And let's prove that point. I click on see more because I'm not seeing the hashtag yet, but if I click on see more, there it is. And Manuela is uh, very, you know, she, she's taken my LinkedIn course before. And so she's savvy to this stuff. She's using the three hashtags, like, like I recommended. And she's also using hashtags that are maybe more uh, targeted. Okay. So not huge, right? So relationships is one of those hashtags. I'm going to click on relationships to get to the hashtag page. Now we're at the hashtag page. I can click on follow. If I want to have the chance of seeing the posts from this community of hashtag relationships in my feed. So I'm going to click follow to show you what happens. Okay. Now I'm following. <laughs> so next time I go to the feed, um, you know, click on home, I might, I'm still probably going to see the post from my, um, from my connections the most. I'm going to click, uh, you know, love this or uh, insightful. Okay, great. I haven't read it yet, but I bet Moitza is always insightful. Um, so, but if I keep scrolling, or if I click on top recent, I might actually see the hashtags, some posts from the hashtag, but I'm gonna go back to this hashtag community and show you. So there are 8,000 followers, which I think is a good number. Um, uh, in, a, in, a, in a separate lesson, I'll, we'll talk about the number of followers, but here is where I can see these are the people that are using the relationship hashtag. And um, you know I can engage with the people that I think well, and with the posts that I enjoy, especially with the people that I think might be uh, potential referral sources or maybe even potential clients. And so you might want to scroll down and, and keep it at the top uh, because these are the posts that are more likely to be seen. But if you want to engage uh, you know, and be super supportive of the people who just made the post, you can click on top and select recent. And these are the newest posts from 11 minutes ago um, uh, you know, that was just made. And if I determine that this person is a potential, you know, potential ideal connection of mine, then by by me engaging with uh, their post, I'm gonna really be noticed. Like, oh, they're, you know, Isabella is gonna be super thankful that I that I was one of the first, you know, commenters or or or, or likers of, of 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 their post. So there you go. That's how you really approach hashtags from a more connected perspective that a more net caring perspective. So hopefully this changes your mind about how to think about hashtags going forward.